Jimmy. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. In my head, though, it's always been Riordan. And so I hope that, but I highly doubt that that would be it. I mean, but I always wanted to say Rio. So if you have Rio in your name, I would think you'd have to say Rio. Because his name is Riordan and he dances in the playground and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to interview, not interview, I'm going to review, not interview, I'm going to comment on one of your songs. That's right. I, well, I had a goal. I had to do a goal to make video comments. And I thought to myself, I'm, the first video comment I'm going to make is for Max. And that's because his song was the very first song. And then I got a comment from somebody else about uh, how I was the first song with lyrics. And so I decided to comment on his so that he didn't feel so bad. And then I thought, oh, I'll comment on the next, the third one, the top three songs, because it was also another one that had music. And then I thought, and so you know where I went for my fourth? Not that you're fourth place, but I, I figured I had a goal. And I would do those in those order. And I thought, I think I'll go over to Timmy. And I thought, why? Because Timmy... Is the only one that seems to appreciate my comments this much. Although, although Erin Kelsey is leaving video comments in response because she likes them so much. So it's a so so top place contender for liking my comments. Unless you don't anymore, or you might not after you realize that I'm making a video comment and thinking, oh my goodness, when it was all one long stream, you could ignore it, right? But now, now, well, I guess what you could do is you could just take the player and just skip it. I should make this like one of those ads in YouTube's where you can't skip it and it's like... That's actually going to be something about my next song, I think. I don't know what it's going to be, what my next song is going to be. I haven't written any, but I will eventually, I hope, because I guess it is the 8th. What date is it today? Is it like the 8th and I haven't written a thing? Yeah, we're almost like two-thirds through, one-third through FOM. And I haven't written anything and it's a sad state of affairs. Anyway, I am here to interview, to review, to comment comment on the song that I was just playing when I first came, and that's called Return to You. And I picked it, I picked it because it's a song. And in the time, watch, just watch. I'm going to spend all this time reviewing this. I'm gonna post it and it'll no longer be a song. I wanna increase my song bust. That sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> I want to increase the number of songs that I bust. And, uh, and every time I want to post something, it's like, oh, look, it's a song. And then I go and I spend all this time recording a video comment. And then, bam, oh, it's already busted. Oh, well, what can you do? We're going to listen to your song. It's called Return to You. And I like it because you're trying for another happy one. Now I'm all interested. Oh, what are your other happy ones? I like happy songs. And then I'm, and, and if I read through it, I can see... Peanut butter jam and chocolate milk, all good, except some people are, I'm lactose intolerant for that matter. But I like soy, and I like Bailey's, so you could put peanut butter, of course, I guess this is, this is a, a flashback to childhood, right? You know, playground days with no homework, afternoons with comic books, uh, pranks on sis and dirty looks. You know, I don't see how these are past days for me. Actually, I still kind of do that. If you, especially if you read the comic, then you'll see all I do is pull pranks on my sister. I try and talk to her like every other day as much as I possibly can. Because the funny thing is, even though how much I abuse my sister, because I am just really mean to her at times. I, I can't help but tease her. Have you ever seen me tease anybody? I know if you ever listen to the FOMGAS and, or listen or watch anything that I do, uh, I tease people a lot. And my sister has it the worst, the absolute worst. I think I took all my, all my, all my training is on my sister, which would explain a lot about her mental state now. However, but it's in all sorts of fun, and I still do. And I get a lot of dirty looks. Debs gets a lot of um, looks of desire, I guess, when we're on stage together. I don't. I think they just kind of like. I don't think they know I'm up there at times. Anyway, oh sure, it's hard right now, won't ever be the same. Actually, you know, I kind of disagree. And if I skin my knee, when my, my, when, uh, when my kids skin their knee, I don't really kiss it, depending on how bad the skin is, skinning part is, right? Because it hurts. Why would I, you kiss it if it's really bad? And if it's open and oozing and filled with dirt and slugs, it's kind of gross if you think about it. Now, if it's just a bump, then I'll kiss it. And then Zoe, my youngest, will go, that doesn't make it better! And I think, yeah, I know. I know. But we're just trying to discern whether or not you're lying or if it really hurts. My eldest is actually quite good about um, if it hurts, 
then it hurts. She doesn't do the lying thing because she's got better things to do. Actually, maybe it's because I kind of like ignore my children all the time. And so it's, it's funny though. My wife, she's she's more of the caring, nurturing type. I'm not. And so it's great when Zoe, my youngest, needs something. Mommy, I need you to get me something. And she'll be upstairs. And my daughter will be right beside me and yelling this out. And then, uh, and then mommy will yell down, why don't you ask your dad? And then she'll look over to me and I'm sitting there going, playing games, girl. <laughs> and then she'll go, mommy! So I'm trying to train them to be independent. That is what I'm trying to do. I'm sorry. But this is a song about, about ch children, right? Past days of childhood. So this is all kind of relates. I'm not even tangenting that much. I'm talking about your song of return to you. Return reminds me of though, like the return key or enter key. And sometimes I know that there's two, uh, and I should know this, the difference between the two, but now that it's become so ubiquitous between return and enter, I don't know anymore. So I know carriage return. I don't even know why we have enter actually. Do you know? Somebody knows. I could look this up on Wikipedia. I, this is probably knowledge I don't really care about, really. Where are we? There's this talk at coffee shops about gray hair shows or the bills we've got. I don't go watch shows with gray hair. I was at a movie last night, The Woman in Black, and I guess people had gray hair in it. Or the bills we've got. Now, bills, yeah. Yeah. If there's a bright spot, we can't find it, but soon enough we'll be talking again about the fun we had now with our young kids. I'm having fun with my young kids right now because we're playing Kingdom Hearts 2. It's an old game, and Squaresoft and Disney teamed up and put all the characters in. Although, my girls now are becoming... They used to watch me. We played Kingdom Hearts 1, and they loved it. They absolutely loved it. And they watched me, though, because it's hard, right? It's not really meant for kids that are 10 and under. But now that they're on to Kingdom Hearts 2, they've kind of like, okay, I got this. And they're now, they're now playing without me. Now they've advanced the story. I don't know what half, because we're at the beginning. And I don't know what anything does anymore. It's like, what, what? Because it's different, right? So you sit there, what, what, what does the drive do? I don't understand. And they're like, oh, no, that's when you take the two swords out. And I go look at it, and I see all these abilities that I think, does a sword have the ability? Because... I don't understand and why they're all and it's different and I'm confused because they went ahead and they went and skipped a world on me and I don't know anything anymore. Um, most most of my comments go back to video games. I don't even know what my comments were about when I commented on yours. I think I commented. I can't remember. Were yours the lemmings? I don't know. I'm not too sure. But soon enough we'll be talking again about the fun we had now. With We've got it all right now. Sometimes we're just blinded. And this is true. Sometimes I'm blinded by desire for my wife. Yeah. And the children, they come in between. They come in between us. Because that's what they do. Rotten kids. They say you can't get home again, but you can invite a new home in. I can barely get home, actually. Because I have a... I, I mentioned this in one of my other reviews and I'll mention to you now because I don't think you've seen any of my other comments but I'm on, I'm awful with direction. I'm awful with a sense of direction. If someone is talking to me and I'm actually no okay that's not true. If I'm talking to someone rarely is someone talking to me I'm actually talking at them and I'm really engaged in what we're talking about I will lose I can't seem to do more than one thing. I'm like Dawes. I can only do one thing at a time. No multitasking for me. And I just go. And then all of a sudden, it's like, weren't you supposed to turn there to go to your house? And it's like, ah, oh, crumbs. And I'm, I'm somewhere else, and I don't know. And so it's like, okay, quit talking to me. It's like when you go and you turn down the radio because you're lost. And why do you do that? I don't know. You're lost in the car. You're trying to parallel park. It's like, oh, and turn down the radio. And you're too loud. And it's like, you know, it's weird that way. Maybe it's because it's taking up too much faculties to actually do parallel parking and also listen at the same time. It would be for me because I think too many synapses are going off in my head and I only have like three of them. And it's just hard for me to really focus. I focus well on tangents, as you can see. Not on your song, sorry. Return to you. 
Uh, what? How else does it end? But you can invite a new home in. I bet you that this is a very apt and appropriate song about symbolism, about inviting new homes in. I'm not good at that, but I but it's a it's pretty, and I do like the sentiment you're going for, which is solo acoustic folk pop pop. No, I think you're going for a sentiment of nostalgia, maybe. I'm not good at trying to discern what songs mean, and so I tell you what songs mean to me, and it means to me bugging your sister and going to shows with people that are old. Do you have an old man crush? I don't know what my old man crush would be. If I had an old man crush, it would probably be, I don't know. I do like um, Sean Connery and Harrison Ford, right? Also Patrick Stewart. Yeah, so when Sean Connery and Harrison Ford were in like The Last Crusade, I was like, I was so excited about that movie. That was so fun. I'm, I'm not speaking very loud. Anyway, I'm sorry. Your, your song is fun. Thank you very much for enjoying any comments that I make. Maybe not this one, but thank you. And I hope that you have a great fun. Look at how many songs you've got. For pity's sake, you've got like nine now, right? Good grief. you got nine songs. And I don't have any, but I do like the fact that you put me in your bio. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, another thing that I'm, a rule I'm breaking is that I'm only commenting on fondlings. But not you, Timmy Rorden. I pronounce that badly. I'm not, I'm not concentrating on fondlings. I'm listening. You've got, like, the longest one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this at all. It's just going to be, well, it's going to edit a little bit. It'll just be straight me talking. And, and other people, I give the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I'm a bit more graceful to them, and I'll edit it down. But no, I think you've got, like, how many minutes do you have? Oh, I'm up to 13. <laughs> oh, poor Timmy. I shall let you go, because maybe I'll be able to edit it down to 10, and then you don't have to waste all 10 minutes of your time, unless you like going on YouTube and doing that anyway. Take care, Timmy. I hope you have a great February and a great farm. Bye-bye!